Hey, hey developers, today we're gonna to talk about how to become a self-taught developer. Now this topic is brought up every now and then and a lot of people are talking about it, but I wanna give you some concrete advice from me on how you can become a self-taught developer. I am actually a traditionally taught developer, so I think I have a unique perspective on what you guys should do to become a self-taught developer. Remember to stay all the way to the end. I might be giving something away, so stay tuned. All right, let me say the first thing that this journey that you wanna take to become a self-taught developer is not going to be easy. In fact, most people are gonna actually fail when they try to do this because it's not as simple as it might seem at first. One of the reasons it isn't so easy is because that the market is absolutely saturated right now. You have a ton of people coming into the market. A lot of people are switching careers. A lot of people have little to no experience and they want those coveted development jobs. Everybody knows that developers get paid a lot of money, so you're gonna have a lot of competition. You're gonna have to be a lot better than the people that are coming out of boot camps, that people are coming out of CS degrees. You're gonna have to show that you have experience, that you have a portfolio. So this is not the easy route. This is actually in a video game. You're actually choosing the hard route. So just keep that in mind before you start. Another question you need to ask yourself if you go down the self-taught route is how disciplined are you? So can do you consider yourself lazy? Do you sleep in on the weekends? Can you be self-directed? Can you teach yourself things? Can you uh, set goals for yourself and achieve them? I mean, all these are gonna be really difficult for some people. Some people, this is gonna be really easy. And some people are gonna be able to just pick up a book. They're gonna be able to watch a bunch of videos and they're going to learn and, and this stuff's gonna come really naturally to them. But for some people, it's just not the right fit. That's why we have traditional education. That's why we force our students, force everybody at a certain age to go to school. And that's because for a lot of people, that's the best route, but it's not for everybody. So self-taught programmers, this is the route that you're gonna choose. It's probably one of the cheapest routes, but it's definitely not gonna be the easiest. So keep that in mind. And if you find out some way in between doing your self-taught journey that you don't have the discipline to learn, that you're not getting the results you want, you may wanna consider at least looking at an online program, like an online boot camp or an in-person boot camp, or even maybe a traditional computer science education, or at least go to a community college and take some classes in the nights and weekends. Because most community colleges are pretty cheap and they offer Java classes, C Sharp classes, web development classes. So you may wanna consider that too. So you decided that you think you are self-disciplined enough, that this is the right route for you. You're gonna go in the hard mode in life because you think this is the best way to go. And I'm not trying to discourage people, but it can be difficult for some people. So the first thing you wanna do is set a goal. So you have to be really clear on what you're trying to achieve. The worst thing you can do is when you're trying to become a self-taught developer is just to try little bits of different things. You know, these type of people that spend a half hour, you know, they spend a half hour on one thing and then the next day, they're at half hour and another, another thing. I mean, you need to really focus your goal down. So if you wanna become a web developer, pick what you wanna be a web developer in, pick a framework, make sure you learn the basics of JavaScript, HTML, CSS, but then if you think the best Reddit route is going to React, go to React. If you think it's best is Angular, go to Angular. Or one of my favorites, Vue.js. So you really need to choose and narrow down the path that you wanna to go to. Make sure that there's jobs in the area that you that are available for the area that you're choosing. Second thing I wanna say that there is so many different resources out there that I can't even name them all. Of course, one of my favorite is Udemy. I have some amazing $10 courses. Actually, they're when they're on sale, they're $10 on the links in the description below. There's some cool courses. I mean, Colt Steele's course is 43 hours for $10 when it's on sale. Even when it's not on sale, it's still probably a pretty good deal. So there's tons of courses, of course, free code camp. Uh, my buddy coding tutorials 360 is a huge fan of it. So free code camp is awesome. Um, I mean, there's team Treehouse, and there's just tons of information out there. There's tons of people blogging about development. There's tons of books. You can just go to your library and start renting, you know, taking out some books to look at. So there's tons of resources, but so you have to, with your goal in mind, pick up the books, the online courses, the free YouTube videos of what you wanna learn and start going through those resources. And just don't just read them, just don't, don't just watch them, actually put together the projects. Make sure that you have a good ratio between actually watching and doing. So maybe you spend 60% of your time actually writing code and 40% of time learning. Cause you can get into that mindset of where you're just watching and learning 
uh, and you're not actually doing anything and you don't want to be there. The next thing I would say is consistency. So make sure that you are very consistent every day. Set a time and a date. Time box your time. Remember those amazing productivity tips you hear everybody talking about of doing the Pomodoro techniques and things like that. You need to do that same thing when you're a self-taught de developer. You need to find every day. Try to make it even the same time every day. Say from eight o'clock to nine o'clock, eight o'clock to 11 o'clock every single day. I'm gonna sit down in front of my computer. I'm gonna look at the resources. I'm gonna spend 40% of my time just going over and learning and 60% of my time actually writing a project or or something of actual value that you find for yourself. And you do that consistently every day. Maybe you do it in 25 minute chunks like a Pomodoro. You do the first 25 minutes, the next 25 minutes, the next 25 minutes, the next 25 minutes, and maybe you get four Pomodoros a day. I mean, that's pretty good. Most people are gonna do zero. So if you can get like two, three, four a day, you're doing better than most people. Another thing to consider is to break up your goal into mini sections. So if you're trying to learn web develop, be, to be a web developer, there's so many things you gotta learn. So you got HTML, JavaScript, CSS, and then you, maybe you pick a framework, but what about tooling? What about deploying? What about uh, ops, you know, operations? So there's a lot of things you can learn. So you gotta focus and narrow down your goals, but then break up that goal. So maybe one night you learn all about JavaScript arrays and loops. Maybe another night you learn about data structures. Maybe even take a little bit of time to learn about some CSS, CSS, and then maybe another night you can learn some CS fundamentals. So keep in mind that there's a lot of different things you can do and that you wanna break down your goal into smaller pieces and then learn those each night. And finally, I wanna mention that you should go out there and try to get a job after you've done all this work. So the worst thing you wanna do is to make this amazing plan, you have your Pomodoros down, you're working consistently, consistently every day, you've reached all these milestones, and then you actually slack off in doing one of the most important things you should probably be doing, and that is to try to get a job. And try to get a job sooner than later, as soon as you're comfortable. Even when you're maybe not 100% comfortable, start looking for those jobs. Maybe look for an internship, a paid internship, if you can. But start putting your name out there and start getting used to getting to going to uh, interviews. You're gonna start seeing some patterns. And don't expect to get the first job. Um, expect to actually fail quite a few times, but for every failure, you're gonna learn something. And it's gonna feel crappy, and you may not think you're learning anything at the point in time, but you might wanna write down that thing because the next time you have that same interview, or a different interview, but the same questions, you'll know how to answer. Hey, so I hope you guys like that. That's my, my quick guide for self-taught developers out there. I mean, those are just some quick tips. If you guys like it, I mean, tell me below what you guys think of some great ways to prepare for how to become a self-taught developer. Um, agree, disagree, let me know in the comments below. Thanks, take care. And also, for you super fans that have been watching, I do have a new book coming up. And it's uh, the Vue.js in action. I told you guys about Vue.js in the middle of the video. I am going to give away one free copy of that book. I'll probably give it away next week. But I want you guys to tell me what you guys did for all you self, this is for the self-talk developers out there. Tell me how you guys learned how to program. So give me your story. What resources did you go to? How did you plan out it? Was your first job a fluke? Did you just happen to get it because, you know, they just liked you? Or did you really have to go through multiple interviews? I like to hear little stories. I'll pick out the best one that I like and I'll get you guys a free copy of my book. So thanks, take care.